Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be unboxing and taking a look at installing a hard drive into this Orico uh, hard drive enclosure. This is a 2.5 inch um, enclosure for laptop size hard drives or SSDs, SATA interface. So what I've previously bought was this Anchor enclosure that's here. And these are really good enclosures and uh, this wasn't that expensive. It was less than £10 I think. But they don't make these anymore, can't get them. What I'm looking for is something that's a reasonable quality replacement. This looks very similar in terms of the when I was looking at the pictures and stuff on it and how it's assembled. And it's also USB 3 as well. On the back we've got USB 3, it's got SATA 3.0. It also apparently comes with a data cable with a length of 0.5 meters as well. And it works with Windows, Mac, Linux, etc. That's just a question of formatting it though. So let's open this thing up anyway. And uh, have a look at what the quality's like and get a hard drive installed into it. Okay, so the box has got a little thanks for choosing us thing. Some pads. Uh, I believe these are for if you've got a slimline hard drive. So certain models of hard drive are physically thinner, as you can see there. So to stop it rattling around in the case, I believe you apply these pads to either the case or the, the drive and that stops that from happening. It doesn't matter for me because I'm using large drives, but here's the USB 3 uh, type A2 mini slash micro B. We've also got a little instruction manual that is in Chinese on that side. Oh, it's all in Chinese, okay. So the instructions are all in Chinese on all the sides. Uh, not that you really need them. It's in a nice little bag. It's got this red finish on the top here. It's very similar to the Anchor one in that regard. It's got a little LED indicator there that shows you when it's powered on and flashes when there's activity. And a USB 3 port. If you look, it's in not the same, but a similar place to the Anchor one. Pretty close. On the bottom here, all you do is just push that apart and it slides open. You've got the SATA interface here for the hard drive. And this just clips onto these tracks here. See how it's like grooved? It slots in under there. So to put your drive in, all you do is get the hard drive itself. Look at the keying of the connector. Make sure the two L shapes are the right way. And then set it on and just push that in. And then it should sort of click into place. If it's quite snugly, it'll be about there. Okay, and with these pads, what they're actually for, I've just had a look, is there's two sizes. So if you've got the slimline hard drive, you want the big pad. If you've got the thicker size of hard drive, like I've got here, then you want this small pad. And where I'm going to stick it to is the actual enclosure itself in the lid. Because I don't want to fix it to the drive in case I switch the hard drive out in the future. Finally, there we go. That, that took a lot longer than it needed to to peel the backing off. I'm not impressed with that. But it's just double sided sticky tape that's stuck on the back of the foam. And I'm going to affix this in. I'm going to put it there. Somewhere like that. To hold the drive. And it's not touching where the platter spin is holding more here where the drive's a bit more solid. So now that that small pad is in, I'm going to slot this back on and just push it up like that and that's it locked into place it's still a little bit loose you can see here it doesn't latch quite as well as the anchor one does on this one there's absolutely no movement at all when I pull it it won't come apart this one if I pull it it does come apart so that's not quite as strong so it's not as good in that regard the catch is on here Um. But it seems solid enough, really. Let's plug this thing in and see if it works and have a look what colour the lights are. Okay, so I'm just going to plug this in. And the indicator goes blue. And it sort of flashes purple when there's activity. It's going to be quite hard to show this on the camera. You can probably just about see that it's pulsing. The connector is quite solid in here as well it doesn't pull out too easily which is a good thing it means it doesn't accidentally drop out but yeah that's pretty much it for this video then that was a quick overview of this orico hard drive enclosure if you like this video please leave a like 
Any questions, put them in the comment section down below and I'll try my best to answer them. Get subscribed to my channel for future random unboxings and technology videos like this one. And thank you for watching.